Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about a few different things that we haven't covered and are very important. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Before we get into the video, remember guys, we're going to be covering The Flash Episode 3 this week for Season 7, right after the episode airs, so please be sure to turn on notifications, so be on the lookout right after the episode finishes airing on Tuesday night, as my video will go up like just under an hour after it comes out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into today's video. So the Hall of Remembrance, let's talk about this first. So this was a new inclusion to last week's episode where you had Team Flash making a shrine after Nash, revealing this new room that I don't believe we've ever seen before. It kind of looks like the Flash Museum, although now it's like a place of remembrance because Cisco talked about like using nanites to encode their memories basically within the walls or something. I don't know the specifics. However, this Hall of Remembrance wasn't just home to that. It's now home to, and has been for at least a while, to the superhero suits of fallen heroes. And now in this scene, you can see Nora Allen's suit, so that being XS. Obviously season 5 was the last time we saw her, that was the last time Jessica Parker Kennedy showed up as Barry and Iris' daughter from the future. And at the end of the season, obviously she got erased from the timeline. However, how is Nora's suit there, now you may ask, and I was asking myself that, so after a while I've had some time to think about it, and I think the most likely explanation that the people behind The Flash can probably give and will give if ever asked about it is that basically Team Flash probably recreated her suit as a thing or like a symbol to remember her by. Obviously Nora is probably going to come to be an actual thing in the future, however this version of Nora won't exist because the timeline has changed. And so the other option is Cisco had like an old backup option of her suit, maybe he made like some sort of duplicate, however it must be noted that Cisco didn't actually make her suit, this version of Cisco at least. Okay so let's move on, so the biggest easter egg inside the Hall of Remembrance was this. I among many people saw in the background that Jesse Quick's suit was there and we're like, hmm, remember back to when Jesse Quick last showed up, did she die? No she didn't die, so this is a huge easter egg and it basically infers that she died after crisis and this is most likely due to earth 2 being wiped from existence because obviously her father did die because he showed up last episode obviously inside Nash's head and he actually possessed Barry at one point when Barry was basically morphing into these different versions of Harrison Wells. So yes, Earth 2 Harry did in fact die and like all the other versions of Wells, his consciousness was actually streamed into Nash's body a couple of episodes ago. So with that, I guess we can presume that maybe Jesse Quick did die in Crisis and that was due to her being on Earth 2 at the time. However, I believe one of the last times we saw her, she was supposed to be going to Earth 3 or at least that was one of the explanations over the years, that she went to Earth 3 was like the new Flash of Central City instead of Jay Garrick. And so I don't know if she still died if she was on Earth 3. However, it does seem like what they would explain it as is because of Crisis, she has died. But the big question is, how did that costume get there? So I have no actual idea apart from a few conclusions that I've come to. Okay, so here we go, here are a few theories, and so it's an interesting inclusion because that means we probably won't be seeing Jesse again anytime soon, or at least our normal version of Jesse, because we can presume from this that she is dead. And now, like I said, it's probably due to Crisis, however, like Nora's excess suit, they probably recreated it as a remembrance to her because they're not sure and they don't know about the multiverse. So they're presuming everyone who is not on Earth Prime basically died. And so out of that, in their grief after Crisis, maybe they went ahead and recreated some of those suits, including Jesse's suit, to put up in the Hall of Remembrance. Now that is probably the most likely thing that went on, and I definitely think that would be the explanation that the showrunner would give, that being Eric Wallace of course. It's mainly an easter egg and probably just a reference to Jesse, rather than saying anything concrete about the status of her character, however it definitely does infer that she is dead and we probably won't be seeing her anytime soon. So what do you guys think about that? I thought that was kind of crazy and I wanted to actually properly go over it in a video. But let's move on to the next thing, and so this is from the episode before. So 
we got this huge easter egg and lots of people overlooked it i think Paigey was actually the first person to point it out so shout out to Paigey. but there was a huge easter egg to a major character in the recent comics so in dc rebirth a character named mina darwin was introduced and on chester's book in episode one you got to see a book written by dr mina darwin and so this is an obvious easter egg and an obvious reference to the character from the comics and so you may be asking who is Mina Darwin I don't read the comics so tell me who is she so let me explain it to you and I'm gonna give you a brief summary of the character in DC Rebirth which came out in 2016 and the following storylines that went on since the Flash Rebirth started Mina was mainly Barry's helper and was actually Barry's lover at one point however at the start she is an instructor at the Flash's Speed Force Academy and so the Speed Force Academy was born after this big kind of shock event where you had this huge speed force storm which we actually saw on the flash tv show at one point during season three and that was a reference to that we kind of expected some new species to come of that we thought godspeed was going to show up because that was actually the storyline where godspeed was introduced for the first time also black hole is linked to this so that is a reference to what's happening in season six of the flash and obviously now continuing in season seven because we are still dealing with some black hole stuff so the reference to Mina is definitely a reference to the current storyline. So in the comics she is a speedster and she trains speedsters at the Speed Force Academy along with Barry and she teamed up with Barry and her superhero name was known as Fast Track and so this was at the start of her main storyline. And so it must be noted that she is a relatively new character. She's had a lifeline that is very similar to Godspeed because they were introduced literally at the same time when Godspeed became the first kind of main villain of the start of the Flash Rebirth, she was there helping Barry take down Godspeed and also take down Black Hole. However, she goes missing. And right, when she comes back from being missing, she returns and she's completely different. She's not fast track anymore. She's not a superhero. She is still a speedster and she is definitely not on Barry's side. And so it's revealed that Gorilla Grodd has actually been manipulating her and she returns under the alias Negative Flash. That is her new name and obviously her allegiances have changed however she is being controlled but she is still a bad speedster. And so could this introduce Negative Flash aka Mina Darwin into the Arrowverse? Well it 100% does confirm that she does exist in this universe. And she can totally show up because of this reference basically confirming yes Dr. Mino Darwin does exist and there is a possibility that she can show up but it must be noted that this was just a small reference it was an easter egg after all and it isn't anything to be taken so seriously so just like the Red Death reference a couple of seasons back and nothing has come of that since and people have obviously been speculating for literal years now that we're going to be seeing Red Death as the main villain of a Flash season but that never happened and so this could be an instance that is just like what happened with Red Death. So it may just be a small easter egg. They were like, this is going to be fun for the comic readers who have followed along with the Black Hole storyline in the Flash Rebirth. And they will get this reference. However, that doesn't confirm that they have plans for this character. Although it basically confirms that they exist. So it's mainly an exciting opportunity that at some point over the next few seasons, maybe we do see a version of Mina who could potentially show up as a version of Negative Flash. Probably starting off being the good version of herself, that being Fast Track, and then progressing to becoming Negative Flash. And I guess that storyline strikes a similarity to what happened with Zoom. Because you remember he was introduced as Jay Garrick and then you had all the twists and turns and he turned out to be Zoom, Hunter Solomon. So there is that storyline that draws a parallel to this and I think they could definitely do something with this. And she could be like a main villain. Also she could be introduced with what's happening with Godspeed this season. Because she is heavily linked to Godspeed in the comics. But also Black Hole, but really the Black Hole stuff is going to get wrapped up in the next few episodes. But the Godspeed stuff will continue. So what's to say that Godspeed isn't going to be the normal version of Godspeed that we know? That being August Heart, of course. But instead, what happens if it's a version of the Negative Flash, who is sending these Godspeed clones back from the future or wherever she is? So what happens if Mina Darwin turns out to be the person sending these Godspeed clones back? And maybe she's the real Godspeed, or maybe it's Negative Flash 
sending back those Godspeed clones. So that is just a crazy theory that I came up with. I don't know if there's any validity to it, but considering that their storylines are very linked in the comics, maybe they could do some sort of twist on that. And so, obviously with it being a direct reference, it's in the writer's minds and it's in Eric Wallace's mind. So, I think there is a slight possibility that we may be seeing Mina sometime in the next few seasons, but for now I would say take it with a grain of salt this reference, because I think it's more of just a small easter egg for now that, you know, we saw on a book, and I guess us comic fans are going to make a big deal out of. Also, similar to the stuff that we talked about at the start of this video, where the Hall of Remembrance had some easter eggs to like Excess's suit and Jesse Quick's suit, but we're not going to see their deaths and we're probably not going to see them again. However, it is just a reference to the Die Hard fans and it gets us speculating, obviously like this whole video. So it does what it's meant to do and it's just very exciting that we can talk about it and kind of come up with these ideas. So let me know down in the comments down below, do you think Mina is going to show up at some point? Will she become Fast Track and then progress the negative flash, do you think? Her story, if she ever shows up, is going to have some sort of link to what is happening with Godspeed right now. Also, what do you think about the Hall of Remembrance? Did you freak out when you saw those easter eggs to do with the dead heroes that we saw in that special room? Let me know down in the comments below. Okay, so remember we live stream on Thursdays, also this Tuesday night, The Flash comes back for episode 3, also Superman Lois episode 4. We're going to be reviewing it, so come back right away after. And then Superman Lois's review will be coming out the day after with a Flash trailer breakdown. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see room.